What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the Manchester Derby, my match preview for it, and it's going to be one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game of the season already, because of the two managers, the two teams, the amount of money spent, just everything. The rivalry has never been deeper. We've got Jose Mourinho going up against Pep Guardiola for the first time in Manchester, an old rivalry rivalry from the El Clasico brought into Manchester. Fantastic, Can, cannot wait for this game. Of course, Sergio Aguero is ineligible and it's a little disappointing. I would have preferred to play City full strength just to see the matchup because this is such a key game early on in the season and uh, yeah it is a bit disappointing but obviously there's a big part of me that's happy he is ineligible because he usually scores against us and he's a terrific player when fit uh, well he is fit he's just ineligible for that elbow on Winston Reid whether you think he deserved it or not is besides the point no point talking about it now he is ineligible so the question remains will in the actual start or will Pep Guardiola opt for more of a false nine where he uses Nilito or uh, Sterling or maybe even Sane because he's been declared fit um, as a as a you know centre forward in a false nine but we'll have to wait and see I'm going to predict City's lineup of course I don't know the ins and outs of Manchester City like uh, for definite who's fully fit I can only go off what I've seen from other people and what uh, is said in the media and everything for who's fit so Although Bravo, I think he hasn't really trained too much with Manchester City. I don't think that's too much of a problem for a goalkeeper because obviously all he's doing is distributing the ball. So, you know, as a goalkeeper, you know what you're doing. You're saving shots ultimately. So, yeah, I would be surprised if he didn't play. Um, but I hope Caballero plays late. He's nothing compared to Hart, who's obviously went on loan, or Bravo. So I think Bravo will start. Then Kolarov, Otamendi, Stones... And then I'm going to say Sanya. I mean, Zabaleta might, but I think Sanya would be opted for. Again, I'm not sure what Pep Guardiola will go for. He might play Kolarov as a centre-back if Otamendi isn't fit and then bring Clichy on in the left. We'll have to wait and see. The midfield, Gundogan is actually fit, but whether Pep Guardiola is going to risk him, when I say risk, you know, debutise him in probably the biggest game of the season. He's good. It, well, he's a fantastic player, but debuts are never easy, especially in this sort of calibre so I don't know I think he will though especially if he's you know been training for a couple of weeks which he apparently has so I'm going to say Gundogan and Fernandinho in the centre mids for City and then although Sané is declared fit as well Sterling's been terrific for Manchester City and I just can't see them dropping one of Sterling, Nelito, De Bruyne or Silva so I think that'll be the front four in any order for Manchester City so that's the 11 I think they'll go with as for Manchester United Physio room say there's no official injuries, but there are little niggling doubts about Luke Shaw and obviously Mkhitaryan because he got an injury for Armenia. So whether they'll be fit for the game, we'll have to wait and see. I really hope they both are, but in particular Luke Shaw, purely because Rojo going up against the likes of De Bruyne, Sterling or Sane doesn't really fill me with too much confidence. Luke Shaw is much better, of course, but whether he's fit, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully he is. And I'm going on the premise that he is because I, I think we'll go with an unchanged back five. De Gea, when I say back five, you know, back four and the goalkeeper. Just in case people think I'm thinking we're going to go five at the back. Of course we're not. Anyway, uh, it'll be De Gea, Valencia, B, Blind, Shaw. Um, and then the midfield, I don't think it'll be changed in terms of centre mids. Fellaini's back from his back injury, played for Belgium. Uh, and then Pogba, so Fellaini and Pogba as a centre mid. And now, I really hope Mkhitaryan's fit. And I'm... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say both. Like if if Mkhitaryan is fit, then he'll play because you know this will be the first time where we've played a team that's gonna really come at us. They're gonna really attack this season against us. So we need pace on the wings, counter attacking ability that we've got. Mkhitaryan is a better option against Manchester City. He's a better option altogether. But I think Jose has been waiting to unleash him in this game, and it's gonna be disappointing if he misses it due to injury. So if he is fit, he'll play. If not, Mata will play there. Um, I think Rooney, even though a lot of people obviously don't want to see him start, uh, I think he will. Like it, It's the Manchester derby. I don't think he's going to be dropped uh, yet. I think further down the season he will. So I think Rooney will play there. And now, Rashford scored a hat-trick for the under-21s. And I predicted that. I put a bet on, £5 bet, and I got 95 quid back. So I was happy with that. Thought he would do well for the under-21s and score a hat-trick. And he did. So because he scored the winner as well, 
in our last game uh, for Manchester United, like, seriously, he has to start. And then that would mean that Martial gets dropped. And a lot of people don't like, especially when, when I say Martial may be dropped or whatever. I love Martial as a player, I really do. He scored for France, his confidence is good. But just right now, because of the derby, because of everything, I don't think Rooney's going to be dropped. So I think Martial will be the player to give way. I could be wrong. Hopefully I am wrong. Hopefully, although I love Rooney as well, his performances are not what the other four have been in Mkhitaryan, Rashford, Martial and Ibra. So I'm going to say Rashford starts in for Martial and then we've got Ibrahimovic up top. Um, the, with Jose Mourinho, the players when going forward are allowed to interchange anyway. So they don't have default positions. It's only when we're defending where they get back into their position. So when I say Rashford on the right, he'll drift, he'll go up front. So that then will drop back and Rooney will drift towards the wing. You know, we we mix and match, but yeah. Mkhitaryan, I really hope he's fit, same as Luke Shaw, and uh, if if they are, I think we'll win, even if they're not, I still think we'll win, because uh, I'm, I'm confident, that's something I haven't had, like, generally, I've usually been dreading when we play Manchester City, even under Van Gaal, who had a good record against Manchester City, I still dread playing them, but under Mourinho, I don't, I don't fear anyone anymore, so, you know, we've had some brilliant performances, it's really time to make a big statement for whichever club, of course, we could draw, but whichever Manchester team wins, assuming one does, of course, they're going to have such a big advantage. Not just a three points, because that isn't a lot. It's a psychological advantage. It's knowing that you've beat probably your biggest title contenders this season, of course, as Chelsea. There's other teams that might get in there for the title. But for now, it looks as though the two Manchester clubs will be fighting it out. So, yeah, a psychological advantage, a three-point advantage, just everything. I don't think either of the teams are going to drop too many points this year. So, it's key. It really is four games in, and this is such a huge game. It is unbelievable. As for a prediction, I do think it's going to be close. Even without Aguero, Manchester City are still a ridiculously good team. But I think us playing on the counter-attack, particularly if Mkhitaryan's there, I'm going to give two predictions. If Mkhitaryan starts... I reckon we'll win 3-1. I generally do. I think we'll we'll beat City by quite a bit. The loss of Aguero is going to really, really affect them. And then hopefully, well, I say hopefully, I'm not really too bothered. But if Otamendi didn't play and they had to play Kolarov as a centre-back, I think that would mess things up. But again, 3-1 if Mkhitaryan does play. If not, then I think we'll win 2-1. I generally think, I'm, I'm just confident. Like Generally, I think on the counter-attack will we'll be such a problem for Man City, of course. They'll be a problem because they've got some unbelievable players going forward. But Bay's been fantastic. So's Blind being underrated again. If Luke Shaw starts, that's another key area because Rojo has a mistake in him, and Luke Shaw's a lot more solid. Valencia's been terrific so far. De Gea hasn't really had a test. Maybe this will be his first real test this season. I think uh, De Gea's loving having a break after the last three years where he's been our best player. So yeah, confidence. I really am confident. I reckon Ibra will get. A goal or two generally I think he's going to really cause problems particularly for John Stones because he's a ball playing centre back he's young he's susceptible to you know making a mistake now and again which is nothing against the player but in a game of this magnitude going up against Ibra I think we'll be able to exploit him a little bit a new team you know all that but 3-1 uh, and I reckon the goal scorers I'm going to say for City I would have said Aguero if he was starting, but I'm going to say De Bruyne. Even though he hasn't been terrific so far, I think he will get a goal for City in this game. If Mkhitaryan starts, he'll score, which will be the extra goal that I said. But if not, Ibra will get one and Rashford for me. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited for this derby. And again, belief. I, I just love having belief. I love being able to say, I think we're going to beat Manchester City. I actually believe it. Not say it and not truly believe it. It, it's wonderful, honestly. It genuinely feels like Fergie's back for us. And uh, that's great in itself, but I've rambled for far too long. This is like 10 minutes. What the fuck? So let me know what you think. Of course, Man City could win. And ugh, predictions are predictions. And people will have biased opinions for their own team. But again, I believe it. I genuinely believe we can win. So let me know what you think. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.